but Alex going back to be reworked and just put like new pieces of wood that they need to put on there. Good morning, north of Charlotte. Let's get this day going. It is 8 a.m. and I guess this morning is Tuesday, the worst day of book loads. But we'll still go through JB Hunt's load board and kind of um, show you. I'll do try and do a voiceover for it and show you what I look at when I'm looking at loads. I'm a little different because I always try to go by my house because I want to see my my family, of course. So I'll try to use trucking in a little bit different way. But I'm very blessed to live in a great area for freight. Um, so this is JB Hunt's load board. Probably there's some good loads out there. But the market's not great, so they're not going to pay on them. But you never know. Might hit a home run. And uh, speaking of home runs, those two hats right there. Does anybody else in their truck have their uh, firstborn and secondborn son's T-ball hats? I do. And they're signed. There you go. One of them's lefty, one of them's righty. You never know. Anyways, this is JB Hunt's load board. It's 8 a.m. I am going to fire the truck, get some warmth to this engine because it's cold in here. Uh, uh, grass outside is all icy but the weather is beautiful it's perfectly sunny and there's a meteor shower going on right now so coming down last night from pa um in virginia it was i must have saw 25 shooting stars it's, it was pretty pretty cool so god's grace but let's get jb hunt load board going so let's go through jb hunt first home page is just kind of a map and then i'll go down there to search find loads and Change it to 75 miles. We'll keep it dry van, current location. So we have Charlotte to West Palm. I'll take them by the house. I already bid on this once and they rejected it. Uh, Grover to Peachtree, just to Atlanta. Uh, they're telling me that I've been outbid. So this is just something for them to get you back to the app and try and see if you'll go lower. And uh, you just let them know you're serious about where you're at with your bid. So I will uh, go just $5 higher. And that lets them know, like, hey, this is where I'm at. I'm not going to really move from here to take that load. And let's keep going. Let's see what else we got. So now the app is um, that little top triangle on that bottom load behind us or underneath us as a, um, a hazmat. And just pull down and refresh the, the, the uh, app to go ahead and get the loads that you're looking at. So this one's to Deland. It's just by Daytona, Florida. Um, still pretty weak on the rate. So they're telling me that it's they're counter offering it, and I'm going to say no. I'm pretty firm on 24.50, or I think I'll change it down to 24.25. Uh, so we'll do that and just say, hey, we'll move a little tiny bit, but not not much. We're, we're about a thousand off on that one, and only if they need it moved will they uh, come to us. So now the app has gone back to you have to pull pull down on the app screen from the very top to get to refresh because you'll see down here. It's got the loads that I'm looking at, but it also has a flatbed load down here. Once I see that flatbed, that's not a bad one to New Hampshire, but you have weather coming in. So um, be wary of that. If you don't mind the weather, you got changed. Okay, let's keep going and see what else we have. We have New Jersey, another one. Not too bad. I mean, that's not a great rate at all for that one. Uh, Pompeo Beach, Florida. You'd have to bid on that to see where they were at, so they don't give you a, um... All right, let's go again. Refreshed at the top, and we're back looking this. So they came up to 14 on that one. Oh, uh, Johnsonville, Tennessee. That's a little bit up in the mountains, but still a decent rate. This is what I'm interested in, Charlotte to Greenwood. That's right past my house. Uh, there's two routes to take there, but one will add about 10 miles, but I'll be able to go home, maybe grab the boys, but it's a straight through. Um, and have them come with me to that one to go see them. But that's a straight through, so I'll be home that night. So we'll go about... For these short runs, don't be as scared to go $1,000. If they need it moved, they'll pay for it. So if they were willing to pay six seven, what's $300? So i go 1050 on that. Now we're back up here. Always pull down and refresh because uh, sometimes this app works pretty good, but sometimes it needs to be refreshed. Otherwise, it shows you like flatbed and all kinds of different loads, so... There we go, 1050 on the on that one. They're offered 500. 
uh, Wisconsin. I don't really go up there, but they probably have some weather too. And that was, so that was the last load. No, no. So Pineville, Wisconsin, that's, that's, I don't go up there. Illinois, I don't go up there. I don't go north of, uh, Kentucky from me, from my house. And that's it. So now we're on the 16th. So that was the last load for today available. Not that many loads uh, within 75 miles, but then again, it's right before Christmas, but you might get one. So uh, I would be most interested in that first one at Charlotte to Greenwood because it's close and um, would let me get home. So when they come back and counter offer, that's when it's only like a couple dollars, it's, a, it's an odd dollar amount. That means the computer just uh, generated that automatically. So bid on it again, let them know you're serious about it and maybe you'll get a broker to actually look at it because there's a computer that just randomly sends you back a percentage over which is typically like two percent three percent so there's some available but if none of these come through then that'll be uh yeah but I, well, i'll do that and then i'll go to another app and uh start looking further hope this helps guys and we got one so convoy haven't worked with them in a while it's been a bad experience the last couple times but let's pray for the best on this one um None of the JB, JB hunt loads came back they just tell you you you've been outbid your bids rejected or um or it's unfortunately someone else won it. They're trying to, it's all mind games, guys. Same thing with um, Convoy even. They had this listed at $330 last night and I told them I'd do it for 550. And then this morning they had a, another one, the same exact load, but uh, they switched the, the pickup times. It was picked up at 7 a.m. Now it's picked up between 11 and noon. And uh, Cowpens is exactly straight uh, straight on the way to my house that I would be going anyways. It's off 85 and uh, this is a dollar Dollar Tree. Uh, they're getting rid of their old pallets and they're taking them back to the manufacturer so they can be reworked and made nice again. So I've taken this load before, but uh, it's right there in my hometown. It's literally uh, like three miles from my house is where this ma pallet manufacturing refurbishing place is. So it's a blessing. Uh, CH Robinson also had some good loads on their app. Um, I've been working with a couple different brokers there now and um, they had one going to Augusta for 1100 uh, that picked up right here, like 20 miles from where I'm at. And um, he was start trying to get it for 850. I said I'll do it for 1100. So that could come back. He could email and say you, okay, we'll do it. But um, I'm I'm gonna do this one because it delivers at 8 a.m. I'm gonna try and deliver it today because this place used to be pretty bad for unloading, but they just got re um, bought out by somebody, a bigger company. So and they're pretty good. So I'm just gonna st stop by and see if they want to take it today because the other load was just straight through. It delivered at 5:30. So. This load delivers at 8 a.m. Either way, I'm okay with it, but I'm just gonna try and get it off the truck so I can sleep in and uh, hang out with the boys in the morning. And uh, we'll see, well, let's fire up. Took my TV down, but I'm gonna put the new one up. Oh yeah. It's pretty out here. Right by Lake Norman where I met T-Dubs, we call her, truck and wife. Oh yeah. Go. Let's talk to Truck and Wife about a giveaway for this month. And I think today we're going to do a keyword. So, three of them are already out there. They started from the day after Thanksgiving. So, if you want to go back and watch those videos, you can probably find them pretty easily. I, I definitely make it a point to tell you what they are. So, uh, I'm going to let this truck warm up. And here's T Dub to tell you about the monthly giveaway. We try to do a monthly and we do an annual. The annual has to do with merchandise. Every $5 you spend, that goes towards an OBS build 1997 Chevrolet truck that we're giving away next year. But here's Truck and Wife, T-Dubs, to tell you about the giveaway for this month. God bless. Hey, Just Truck and Family. This month's giveaway is all about the fives. We are giving away a PlayStation 5 this month. So we're putting a little twist on it again. Not only do you have to be in the chat room, but you have to know the five keywords. So Justin's going to release... A video like he normally does and there may or may not be a keyword in it so keep an eye and an ear out for that keyword those keywords because there will be five and then on december 26th we're going to start our live like we always do at nine o'clock on saturday december 26th and at about 9 30 we'll announce the winner so the winner will have five minutes to say hello in the chat and then five more minutes to email me the five keywords if the winner does not get the five keywords then we go to the next, or if the winner is not in the chat room, then we go to the next winner. And I'm really excited about this one. Good luck to everyone. Please like and subscribe, sign up to win, and that link in the description. And have a blessed day. So that is my wife, truck and wife. We call her T Dubs for short. 
And uh, that's the PS5 giveaway, guys. Day after Christmas, that'd be a nice little extra gift for anybody who wins that. Uh, but there are keywords to it, trying to keep people involved. Three of them are already out there. And um, you can find them in the, any video from this video today, which is the 15th of December, back to the day after Thanksgiving. So anytime in that time frame, those three are out. And uh, I think we're going to do one today, too. So keep an ear out for that. Um, but speaking of truck and wife T-dubs, back in 2014, I uh, came out here to visit my brother, my older brother, uh, best friend in my, world, in my world, Uncle Jason, we call him. And he uh, rented a lake house out here in Lake Norman, North Carolina. I lived in Arizona at the time, and I almost didn't make the trip, and then last minute booked a flight out for 4th of July, 2014, and I uh, got on an application called Tinder, of all things. I was a single guy, that app was popular, I think it still is, I'm not even sure. But um, I, made, I matched up with a uh, young lady from South Carolina, had a, I think a 100, uh, 75 mile radius, whatever, I was just trying to look for, see something different than the Arizona um, dating pool, which was kind of, the Arizona dating pool was a smorgasbord of uh, college students that stayed there, people from California, and uh, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't what I was looking for, I was looking for a more wholesome, different kind of mentality woman and uh, I was blessed with this woman and it's been great we have three boys now together if you're new to the channel it's kind of the reason that we run our life now we run it for them and try to give them the best life we can give them yeah, but this is the lake coming up that I've met her in that is not a key word but um, this little history of how we came together and how I ended up in South Carolina driving a semi truck first I was fabricating uh, make custom grills like uh, front of a uh, Ford F-150 or F-250 or Dodge Ram or Chevy Silverado, that kind of stuff. I was making those. Uh, I was doing that in Arizona when, before I even met my, my wife. And I was uh, Uber driving in a um, Kia Sorento. I love that car. It was a great car. That 2013 Kia Sorento was awesome. And then I moved out here and I kept Uber driving, but it wasn't as good. And the grill sales were getting a little bit... Um, Feast or Fathom. The economy was, was kind of doing good, kind of doing bad, so. But this is that lake, beautiful lake. A lot of NASCAR homes on it, huge mansions. The, the house we rented was beautiful. And uh, we gotta do that again, Uncle Jason, if you if you if you catch this video, he catches the video every now and then. But uh, this year we're doing a beach house out there in uh, Charleston for the summer, but nice house too. But uh, I wanna do another lake house eventually. We're looking for a boat to get, so maybe after we get a boat, and uh, do some more lake stuff. But yeah, that's T Dubs. Thanks for telling us about the giveaway. That's how I met her. A little backstory about who I am, whatever, how I got here to South Carolina, and how I started driving a semi truck. And I'm actually just made an offer on a truck. Um, started getting a little more serious and found a truck last night that was in Alabama. Uh, APU Cummins 2350, 13 speed, um, but it wasn't a Volvo. So I'm stepping out of my Volvo, but it had everything I wanted. It checked all the boxes. It has a big sleeper, so um, come on, little Hyundai. Hyundai Veloster, those are pretty cool cars. Truck and wife actually wanted one of those, my wife. <laughs> and she ended up getting a Dodge Caliber. Uh, if anybody has one of those, those are fun cars. The SRTs are really nice. I like those SRT Caliber, but yeah. Anyways, looking at trucks, this guy um, was asking 30000 I got him down to 20000 um, or he's down to 20000 but I told him I'd give him seventeen cash, so... We will see if he uh, if he does that. It's a nice truck, a little bit out of my, not what I was looking for, but um, we'll see if that comes. But I'm looking, I'm not, I guess I'm serious, because. but this is a great deal. If I get this for 17, uh, that's a heck of a truck, so. Um, and then of course, I'll teach you what I'm gonna look for when I go check it out. Uh, it's 800,000 miles, so that's why you have the bargaining power. If the truck has that many miles, it is ready for an end frame. If it has not been end framed, Throw those words out there when you're when you're bidding on these trucks and talking to private sellers or talking to dealerships they might put new tires on it clean it all up and spray paint the frame but uh, if that motor has more than 500,000 miles 550 600,000 miles you're gonna get about 200,000 300,000 miles if you're lucky before that engine is gonna need an imprint that's just the, the law of, uh, of uh, not, not gravity but law of uh, friction I guess those engines just don't last as long as the older ones did with all the emission stuff and stuff that they have on them. So we'll see. But if this one doesn't come through, it brings up another uh, avenue of a truck I might buy because it has everything. A lot of them came from the factory 
with the APU, with the big sleeper, and um, all that cool stuff. It has a little bit more room between the seats. Pretty cool truck. So I'm really accustomed to the Volvo, but I can learn the electronics of this truck and the dash and everything that might break in, inside of the cabin. The motor and the trans is the biggest, biggest thing. The, uh, that engine and trans is the biggest thing. I'm done jambling. That was Lake Norman. Getting to this pickup, and then I'm getting home. Construction has not stopped around here, but they're making progress. They're pouring that middle divider. Hey, well, road's closed anyways, but this is the road we need, so that's good for us. A lot of roads closed lately. For me, at least, up there in Pennsylvania. Uh, it was a nightmare a couple of loads back. I uh, went on a military compound, and I couldn't get uh, off the place. I had to back out two miles. Check out that video if you want. This right here on the left, um, where this truck's pulling out, that is Barry. Um, that Barry cap, they make caps for like Pepsi, they make caps for pretty much, I think Coca-Cola, everybody pretty much, but they're plastic caps. I have picked up and delivered there before. That Barry plays pretty quick about it. Heavy load sometimes, but um, they're not too bad. But it is tight quarters. There's only like uh, three doors, and no idea why they didn't give you more room. But a lot of people hit the trees across the way. So you ever see Barry cap at a cow pen, South Carolina? B E R I. So there you are. Not too hard to get to. It's right off 85. And this engine's right here. Look down the left. Yeah. We got some tankers in there delivering some stuff, but uh, we got a couple of uh, dry vans too. And this giant green building is Dollar Tree. And you enter over here to the right. I've been here. I've taken this load. It's my third time now. I've always gotten pretty much $600, $700 for the 40 miles. Bringing back the pallets. With the gate thing. Security is never really know what the heck this load is. They're always trying to figure out what the heck's going on. I just tell them, hey, it is the good old, old pallets going back to the manufacturer. Got a little Western Express and a U.S. Express. Let's talk to our friends. Uh, what does it say? I don't know. More oil marks on this side. It's almost down this side. Rather than the left side. Shipment delivery number ready. I don't have a delivery. <clears throat> How we doing, my man? Picking up the old pallets. Uh, okay, so is it the yep. Live load. Live load. Okay. Thanks, man. That was the quickest check-in ever. He just said blue pallets or plastic. I said, I think they're blue, they're wood. He said, okay, cool, we'll go to our 57. So hopefully this is a quicker uh, pickup than usual here. The work ethic has been about 50 to 60% at this facility. Oh, we got a couple of, them. let's see here, door 57. We're gonna go straight out this way because it's right next to that Volvo that's pulled out. 58. And with this angle, we should have a straight back to it. Sometimes it works out good. Sorry for chomping, but I'm eating some of this uh, cattleman smoked sausages. Some good stuff. Probably not the best for me, but it's better than eating a bunch of carbs. Yeah, so door 57. Bam. Right in there. But these loads, you really don't need to worry about your trailer being dirty because it's going to be very dirty once they're done with all the wood that they smash in here because it's a bunch of wood that's been 
chipped up and broken, so it's clean now. Oh man. Until we get to a, a drop off. A lot of people have been asking where I got this trailer from. <clears throat> That's where I got it from. That's the number. That's them. Nice guys. Paid nineteen five for it. The only thing I can tell you about a trailer is try to get something that has the Hendrickson air system. It'll have those little guys on your hubs. You want that. Inflates all your tires to the same. Sorry, I just got a call about my car warranty from California. They say that uh, I have an urgent message, but I don't even have any car warranties, so it makes no sense, but it's always funny. But yeah, make sure you have those. Keeps the air pressure. These don't have it. I don't even know if they make it for this, but you want your air pressure to all be equal because that'll keep you from getting blowouts if you're lucky. Not too bad on that load. Let's see what we got back here. T-shirt weather again out here. <sighs> Woo, still cold. Still see your breath as my oldest son Cash would say. But Alex. Going back to be reworked. They just put like new pieces of wood that they need to put on there. Let's seal this up. Paperwork's in here. Let's go. And I forgot. Um, Sage Robinson did email me back on that load um, to Augusta. He said he's still available. So sorry, man. I grabbed one for 600 down to uh, my house. So I'll show you that email right here. They, uh, they will come. It's a waiting game. Even in the down market right now, they need one of these short ones moved. They'll email you. going on here but oh his whole load is all over the place oh my goodness it fell everywhere t's and p's man they threw out all the stuff that was completely trashed got a bunch of ramps too t's and p's us express man that's too much work for the pay but hey he's working god bless you Right above us on that highway, if we go about four more exits, there is my house. Three more exits, sorry. There's some bumpy roads over here, though. Right past this uh, Spinks right here. On the left is the pallet place. Oh, they're building more houses over here. These are Houses up to the right weren't here last time I was here, which was probably, maybe they were clearing the land, but not those houses. They are building a lot down here. They're building 900 houses behind the park that I live at. So, from the mid 200s. Looks like some big old houses too. Not bad. Highland Chase. I don't know if this is uh, Simpsonville. I think this is Malden. It's the next city up from uh, Kevin Garnett actually played a little bit of high school, I think, yeah, high school basketball in here, but then he went up to Chicago, I want to say, but he started off down here, I believe. Don't know exactly, but Kevin Garnett grew up here in Malden, South Carolina. So let's see what they got to say. A lot more cars here than usual on the right-hand side. Normally it's a couple cars, maybe. Moved in another company around here somewhere, because that's, normally there's like maybe 20 cars. All those cars on the right, they, getting to work and that's what I got in my trailer when that guy got some his trailers let's see what they're feeling like today well I think the work ethic of this place is back to 20% uh, even with the uh, new ownership sad to say I live in the city here but well no dice they said no uh, early unloads they're strict on their appointments, so I said, okay, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll just go across the street and park this thing and then uh, come back in the AM. I guess that'll give me an early start, but I kind of want to hang out with the kids, but maybe I'll take that middle child with me. Tank is a little bit too crazy in the truck. He has to have someone watch him because uh, he's not to be told what to do. He will push all the buttons continuously. So if you don't know who Tank is, that's my youngest child. I have three, three sons. Cash, Kaysen, and his last name is, or the last one's name is Kylan, but we call him Tank. So <laughs> you'll see why if you watch more of the videos. Let's get home and enjoy the rest of our Tuesday. God bless.
Ah, baby. <gasps> you got trains? What's up, dudes? You guys want to go to the park? Come here, Tank. You already going to the park? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Do, do we have a knight in here? <laughs> Are you a knight? Arr. Did you have fun at school today? Hey, Batman. Hey, put me down. Hi, T Dubs. Hi. All right, guys, we're going to deliver in the morning. God bless y'all. And check out uh, Just Truck and Dodge Shop. Tank will show you some hats you can get. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. So we are home. We, we have some new candy. And uh, Kai Kai has a new toy. Hey, Bubba. What is that? Oh, here, hold it. Hold that, the box. Is that keyword number? Keyword four? number four? You get some flowers? I did get flowers. Oh, sprinkly? Oh, they're sprinkly. Oh, this one's sparkly. Sparkly flowers. Oh, no. Thank you. What's, what's that called? That's a garbage truck monster truck. Oh, it's a garbage monster truck monster truck? truck yeah. Keyword number four is monster truck or monster truck. Is what my sons call that white ram. Do we have, I want one too. <laughs> you have other gifts. Yeah. Keyword number four. All right, guys. God bless. We're going to put these in some water. Oh. And, also and get to the park. Also some candies. Also some candies case. And what do you get, Cash? Some candies? Yep. yep. Come on, have Let's one? go to the park. <laughs> Colin, you can't get in there, buddy. Mommy likes these. These are good. Hank doesn't even care about his monster truck, but. Yeah, these are dumb truck monster truck. All right, no, we're out of here. Number Word number four monster truck. He's trying to escape. Kason's getting him. Good job, Kason. <laughs> and we got a new ornament. Isn't that cool? I like this thing. That is pretty dang cool. Do you have to push the button every time? It to, well, it just stays on the whole time, but if you push the button, push it makes the button, a noise. Cash. The button makes it make a noise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Polar Coaster. This is a Hallmark thing from 2003, and I saw, I saw it on my aunt's uh, cool? Facebook or Instagram, one of those two. And uh, I said I had to have one, so I got it on eBay for like $25. So you guys, if you want one, they're pretty dang cool. Mm -hmm. Hallmark. Cool. You're supposed to hang it from the tree, but T Dub's gonna put it right here. Well, because it won't work on the tree because there's LED lights. <laughs> well, it's officially yeah. We had to find like the regular lights. Nobody makes the the old regular lights with the mm -hmm. filament in them. They all are LED. Be so it didn't work with those LEDs. Anyways, God bless you guys. Check out Just Trucking That Shop, and we'll see you tomorrow. Is that cool, Cash? Yeah.